Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Crusader Kings 2. Last episode, we, well, just in general, we have managed to reform the Scandinavian Empire and uh, resettle the, or we, um, reform the Germanic faith. I personally am in charge of the Germanic faith now. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is work on settling the tribe. Which I am pretty soaked for. Uh, one person in the comment section suggested uh, going pick a fight with the Abbasids and um, settling as a Jew in Jerusalem. And what I'm thinking might be really fun. Uh, I gotta wait for my infamy to go down before anything else. Would be once we once we're settled up in Scandinavia, go take Jerusalem, form form Israel, and convert religion. So it'd be a Jewish. Israelite, I don't know, like, Merchant Republic, I don't know, this is gonna get weird. This is gonna get weird. This is what usually what happens when you uh, start become better at Crusader Kings 2. You know, at first you just... I love that Ireland actually formed itself, by the way. I, it, at first you just struggle to make a kingdom. That's like your first struggle when you're new to Crusader Kings 2. You struggle to make a kingdom. And then you struggle to make an empire, and then eventually you just get good at the game. So you can play, you can play anywhere, you can do anything, and you gotta start setting yourself really peculiar goals. And that's generally what I found myself doing these days, is I set myself odd goals. Like, right now, I'm seriously thinking about being a Swedish, uh, you know, mer you know s settling as a Swedish merchant republic, and then going over and taking Israel from the Abbasids and converting to Judaism. I don't know why. I have no idea why I want to do that. It's just I the weird the weirder the goals, the funner the game gets. Funner, more fun. More fun. And my Roomba just went off into the bedroom. I love that. I love that little thing. I only got him like two weeks ago. I love that little thing. Okay. This option is to be as uh, available because you have lunatic. So Glitterhoof, Upland. Oh, they're in. Oh, that's where he is. Glitterhoof is my chancellor now. Now, what? What? Can I uh, request council support? Can I? Requ I could request his support. Arrange marriage between. Who? Can anybody marry Glitterhoof? Can I marry Glitterhoof? Is Glitterhoof a man or a woman? My chancellor, 16 years old. Hmm. I can imprison Glitterhoof. And fire him. And make him <laughs> make him my regent. Plot to kill him. Everybody wants to Can you plot to you can plot to kill a horse? Alright. Glitterhoof is will support me in the council if I want to do something. All right, let's see. Anybody I can throw in jail, I'm going to throw in jail. I found that being uh, in Gavelkind, the more people in jail, the better. Because they can't try to fuck you in jail. Brunswick, Tiller, I don't think I'm going to be making any more titles while I'm elective Gavelkind, because I, they tend to be created and then get destroyed by the people who get them later. But I can't change laws until for four more years. So I gotta try to get uh, my organization up. I gotta try to get it to max organization. All right, we got a faction. Nothing of import. Man, this guy hates me. Oh, I see why. Declared war, usurped title, introduced insane law, short reign, wants to see it on the council, foreigner. He's Norwegian, I'm Swedish. I have the great pox. Hmm. Should we keep building stuff? I feel like we should keep building. Well, maybe we should do, we'll do the money things. The things that come with money. Because I don't have a lot of prestige right now. I think I spent it all. Uh, we'll convert to Castletown 2. Alright, I'm... 
I think I'm a werewolf or something along those lines. What was this? Oh, that's my personal retinue. I could actually increase its size right now if I wanted to, but the problem is, is it's expensive, and I'm thinking about doing it. I'm displaced to New Orleans has failed. The heretics are, are literate and well prepared. That's unfortunate. That guy's pissed, I bet. A horse replaced him. I hand out some of these titles. He won't take it. So someone has to... has the trait Poet. So someone has to have the trait Poet for you to hold that position. Try to make... Oh, he won't take it. Court Jester. You can be my Jester. Ooh, you know what might be fun? Trying to get the Dwarf Fortress achievement. That might be interesting. Find all the dwarves in the in the in the in the world, invite them into my realm, then start breeding. And breed a whole slew of dwarves. A whole sl slew of merchant republic Swedish Jewish dwarves. All right, my marshal, uh well, let's just leave that. Oh, interesting. Be viewed as tyrannical. Verge of Germanic Faith. Germanic Faith is doing good. I found that once you, um... Reform... That the Old Faith gets stomped out pretty easily. It's not too well. Like, it hasn't been very many years at all, and we're, it's already getting pushed out. Wounded by locals. Alright. So if I wanted to die, I need Absolute Tribal Organization. See, I've, I've never done... I'm seriously considered doing Merchant Republic because I've never done it before. I've never once played as a Merchant Republic, so everything would be new to me. Well, most people like me. At least a little bit. Fired from Council in, in, in favor of Glitterhoof. Let's see, this is my son, comes kind, comes zealous. I'll make him zealous. Who's my current sitting heir? 18 years old. He's not too bad. Strong, brave, content. That's not too bad. The trolls can marry. Send that off. Dangerous. Okay, the dangerous faction really isn't that dangerous. The Yalm Vikings. Band of fierce fighters established a warrior brotherhood in Vera along the Baltic coast. Castle known as, uh, we'll call it, um, Yalmsborg. These Yalms are devoted to Thor, Odin, and other Norse gods. They broke no quarter on the battlefield and will prevent only the strongest and ablest warriors among their number. Oh, so th this is my holy order. Alright, nice. That's my holy order. And it's... Oh, look at all of them. Heavy infantry, mostly heavy infantry, but some light infantry and a ton of archers. That's cool. Now, where would they be? It said somewhere on the Baltic coast. Well, it's gotta be in here somewhere. Well, could we, could we find them? We probably find them pretty easily by going like this. Let's zoom all the way in. It's zooming in over here somewhere. Yep, Barony of Yomsborg. Right there. Oh, Glitterhoof must have died. Unfortunate. So, how do you feel about me these days? 65? That could be higher. So we have a, our Holy Order, which is powerful, and will fight against the, the, the Catholics with me. I'm super excited about that. And how old am I now? 59, 58 years old, 59 years old. This guy is great. I am super thrilled about him. He's been a wonderful lure. 8,000 men. Clearly, easily, easily the most I've ever had. Way more than the French. 
We could holy war against France. For France. But that seems like a bad idea. Just because... All their Catholics would join in, and that could be a disaster. We're in time, they hold a huge line of titles. Alright, we're not gonna give anybody any titles out. It's been a bitch and a half just to get the five I have. What are these? Are these raiders? I'm not happy about that. A lot of- I have a huge increase in uh, the men I have because of uh, the tribal... Um, what's it called? Their obligation? They are obligated to give me troops now. Really increase the amount of troops I have in the battlefield. We got a Catholic revolt. Where is it? Where, where is it? I don't see it. It's gotta be in like... Like right over here somewhere. Oh, there it is, right there. Alright, good thing we had troops on the way. Oh, well, looks like they're gonna get weakened before the battle proper starts. A little bummed I'm getting raided up a storm. Okay, merge, let's go get these raiders before we do anything else. Don't know if we'll get there in time, no. They got back on their ships and left. We'll take these ones out, though. Eat it. Alright, they lost 800 in their, of their number. Let's, uh, yep. Let's go this way, cross the Elbe River. Take out these Catholics. Old Germanic, oh, so we got a, uh, Old Germanic Uprising and a Catholic Uprising. Holy God! Did you do you see the size of that thing? That thing is freaking huge. Nine thousand men? Oh my god, that's huge. That's massive. I've never seen an uprising like that. Oh shit! I'm gonna need everything I can get my hands on. Well, it looks like most of them are, are right here. So there's a hundred men there. Uh, let's see. Raise tribal army. That's 2,500 extra men right there. So let's, uh, we're gonna have to try to pincer them. That's a lot of men. That is a ton of men. Who saw that coming? I don't think an old Germanic uprising would be that... ...tough. I mean, we did manage to pull together more men than them, but... ...just barely. And now what the... What, what, what we have the option of doing is sitting here... ...and waiting for them to attack me. We wait for them to attack me, and then reinforce whichever flank they attack. Because I don't want to take the straight crossing penalty, and it should be easy to reinforce. Oh, right, they're heading this way. So as soon as they... Oh, we can start heading in. June 28th. Alright, good. Nope. They're heading back. They're going that way. So we'll head this way. July 7th. So they're heading that way, towards me over this way. So we'll be right behind them, basically, by a few days. It's weird that battles tend to last, like, weeks in here. Well, at least we had some, uh, some other troops there. Hopefully we'll get there in time. Crossing's taking a lot longer than anticipated. Boom! Alright, I did it. Alright, so they lost 3,000 of their number. Quashed them. Off a piece. It's done. Disband. Oh, no. What's in my land? Who in my... What is what is causing that? 
Is it, is it these raiders up here? Is that why I can't disband my troops? Let's try it now. Now I could do it. Or I could go raiding with them. I already got them raised up. Toggle looter. Send all my ships down here. Pick them up and send them out. Alright, the coalition's, uh... Disappearing on me, which is excellent. So let's embark some troops. Can we disband them when they're on their ships or no? Oh, yeah, we can. We're heading over to England. That's just too... England's just too juicy. Such a tempting target. There's never anybody defending anything here. Another time worship the gods. Example, you know, open the files of the Catholic Sometimes wonder if the All-Father will think of your association with these people. Sympathy for Christendom. Yeah, we'll take sympathy for Christendom. That makes things a little bit easier. And of course, we're going to... I mean, it, it, it's just... It's easily the best place to, to raid. There's two churches. Well, you know, one of them's already been raided. That's unfortunate. Will that affect me in that tax, local tax modifier? Might. Eh, well, we'll see. Well, we'll just let it go. 5.9% is not that bad, actually. If we can ever get to the point where we can raid with enough ben a men to assault down the barony, that'd be huge. That's my son. Slow and stutter. Don't really care if anybody kills him. He's kind of a tard. He's not a good character. Alright. Wait, I just got Viking? Man. I could have sworn I got that from an earlier raid, but I guess not. Oh, this guy, he doesn't really like me. But I don't want to do it when my troops are overseas. That seems like folly. Trying to imprison someone when you have no 50% chance and no troops available? Ooh, tech. Let's see, what do we got here? Alright, that unlocks... More obligations, heavy. All right, so I don't necessarily need anything for, well, a little bit, tiny, tiny bit there, just get that city vassal opinion. Majesty is always good. But we're so far ahead on that. All right, let's get tolerance up. Tolerance, let's get that up. We do construction practices, trade practices, town infrastructure. Let's get to construction in here. And we're mostly light infantry. What, I could also save up and get better siege equipment. Oh, they attacked me. I was looking at tech and I wasn't paying attention, but we, we crushed them. Oh, shit. Alright. Instituted an insane law. What we got on the ships? Basically nothing. 70 gold? Really? That's it? Oh, well, France just had a little problem there. I just saw Flanders break away. And Ghent is a one province minor, it looks like. I will not be blackmailed. Looks like we're heading back. Didn't see that coming. Alrighty. So let's head on back. I mean, it's he's not that powerful. 
And let's do this. Military. I mean, pretty much everybody's going to join in. Oh no! Oh, I died! Oh, that's unfortunate that I... I'm still the same kid. Fly here. Fly here, Freyer. So be it. I kept Upland. Good. I kept that one. And I kept... So I kept three of the four in my home duchy, which is good, but that one broke away. Alright, alright. That's unfortunate. I didn't expect that. He died on his longboats on the way back. Alrighty, so... We are patient, content, brave, and strong. Good characteristics. We have a low martial skill, which means we're gonna need to focus on war right now. Need to nominate someone as my successor. My own father. <laughs> can nominate my own father. Who's actually a good character. Pick an ambition. Paragon of Virtue, why not? Call in our allies. Coming back right over here, please. Council positions. I mean, this guy still loves me. Short rain is the only thing that's negative in there, and that'll make him like me. Why can't I appoint why can't I appoint him to that position? He's good at it. I mean, everybody's pretty set with this guy being king. Alright, ships. Uh, I don't care about. Men I do care about, though. And I can I, I can get rid of mine, right? Dismiss personal levy, and then re-raise them get those extra 666 men or whatever it was. Alrighty. Everybody's changing their votes around. That's pretty pretty standard. Well, that's not too bad. Surprised that was one guy managed to raise five thousand men on his own accord. Merge those guys together. Uh, let's see. We've got thirteen hundred heavy infantry, almost fourteen hundred. So we outnumber them heavily in heavy infantry, which is good. A Craven, morale, defense, that's not good. Craven. Damn, Jesus Christ. Alright, that guy's pretty good. 60 something years old. King of Norway, yep. Yeah. Alright, so let's uh let's head on in here. I have uh, I'm pretty confident in our abilities here. I think we'll crush them. We outnumber them, but we also have uh, way more heavy infantry, even though we do have a river crossing penalty, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's see, I'm on the top, they're on the bottom. We gotta be close. Looks like we are ahead, though. Yep, lost. See, what's crazy is that we lo lose similar amounts of men. That seems insane to me. Right over here, train troops, please. Thank you. Let's uh, take a look at the religion right now. So right here. Boom. Thank you. And we'll start taking this out. Siege down his capital. Done. Uh, is this the, this is the only thing that revolted, right? It's just this stuff. No, nothing else. Oh, you know what? Minor titles. I forgot about that. We need more commanders. Herdman. That dude. That dude. He won't take it. Cupbearer. Fort Jester. Fort Munich. Regent's fine. Okay. And tech. Interesting. Uh, military tech. So we can do military organization if we want. Or siege equipment. 
Oh, let's do siege equipment. That'll make our raiding easier. How the hell did they get all the way over here? They must have just gone around me. Only only one county. This thing. All right, so we're gonna offer him vassalization. He's gonna take it. That eh, doesn't seem too bad. Too bad to me. We'll siege down this guy's shit. Looks like our allies got their asses handed to them. All right, I got enough to raise a tribal army if I need to. Is he coming back over here? Do we have any men in there? Barely. But, you know, we'll finish taking this, and then if he takes it back, then we can take it back super easily. Oh, hello! Where'd you come from? They better not get those... I was about to say, those men better be destroyed. Where the hell'd that come from? I don't know. Alright, come on. Autosave. We're gonna need more men. We need more men, so I think we're going to have to raise a tribal army. We just need flat out more people. Well, we'll, we'll get this siege started. Wait for our troops to arrive. And we'll take care of this. Oh, 7,000 men is too many. That shouldn't be by that much. By about 1,000 men. What about here? 6,300. Well, that's what's about left now. We surrender, except he's in jail, disband. Disband. Or not. Alright, back to Upland. I should get a bonus for that. Uh, opinion bonus, right? Crushed Major Revolt? 15. Peasant, peasant war, peasant revolt. Where? You should title Kingdom of Finland. Ah, people are changing all over the place. Is that the peasant revolt right down there? The Chancellor. Probably new commander. Yep. All right, let's bring these guys back in here. All right, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. I'd like to get this back. Because it's home duchy, so what we'll do is intrigue. Uh, nope. Apparently we can't intrigue it away. And others by... People will go for it, though. And other vassals by 15. Is it worth it? Maybe I can. Maybe I can intrigue it away later. I bet I can intrigue it away later. Alright, everybody, maybe figure out... Call everybody in. Have them figure it out. I don't even know where this is. It's a place I don't even know. Let's see, uh, go to location. Oh, okay, it's way the fuck over here. It's all... It's in those weird Scandinavian lands I somehow own way over there. Alright, how's culture doing? So, Swedish, this is, this is Norse, this is Swedish. So, Swedish is starting to take over in some of these areas. It needs a, it needs a nice little boost in the right direction. So, that one is Swedish, that one's Swedish, that one's Swedish, Norse. Can we, can we do the, the thing with the thing? Hang on. Build legend, overseeing a settled tribe. We can settle the tribe in our capital? Huh. Alright. Well, anyway, we're going to leave this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Shatter Kings 2, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.